Hey y'all, we have so much to cover today. I just want to get right into it. This is a rehaul of all the products from my VIB sale haul and my friends and family sale haul, which was like two weeks just prior to the VIB sale. I will link the two original haul videos if you want to see the products, etc, etc. Um, but I have been using these things for a few weeks now, especially the friends and family stuff. That's been like a month. The other things have been like three weeks. Um, so I do have some pretty good reviews and some thoughts over them. So I want to kind of come back, you know, you see things in a haul and then you never hear about it again. So I want to kind of come back and give some more comprehensive reviews. I don't have thoughts on every single product yet. There's a couple that I don't, but most of them I do. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. And first I want to mention one of my favorites, if not my favorite, something I am so glad I picked up. And that was the Ciate Mini Manny Monthly Kit. That's their big advent calendar for the holidays this year. They also sell a little smaller kit called like snowball or something like that that has five polishes in it this one had like 22 it was 24 days in total but then it had like a, a loose glitter and a nail file in it obviously I haven't had enough time to try out every single polish so all I can say is that the ones that I've tried I have loved I have been having so much fun so much fun with these um, today I have on maybe baby which I think is just a beautiful like winter fall winter nude kind of a deeper nude and I have on I can't remember what's on my toes. Hold on. I have on this deep purple called Rain Supreme on my toes. It is almost black. It is like the deepest purple you could get and it is gorgeous. I have tried this on my nails too. This is what I was wearing for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I am just so glad I picked that kit up. Not only has it just been fun, it's just been so nice to have some good polishes. I went through and did a declutter of all of my nail stuff, got rid of all of my non-cruelty free polishes, and I'm so glad I have some beautiful new colors to work with. I'm just gonna have to insert a photo and show you in detail all of them because it's just too much to hold up here. Um, but that was a really good choice on my part. Like I'm patting myself on the back. I would have loved to get that as a gift if I knew anyone, you know, I don't really, but if I did know anyone who was really into nail polishes, that would be a great gift for them. A little bit pricey, it is. I mean, it's like $59 and then I had 20% off. Um, but you know, as a bigger gift, I think it's good. So moving on, let me mention a couple of products that I have not technically broken into yet. One of them is a beauty blender. I don't need it yet, but I went ahead and stocked up on it while I had a discount. I love the Pro Beauty Blender. The black ones, I feel like they just don't show stains as badly and I hate stains. They are inevitable, but I feel like the black one just shows them less. It feels cleaner to me. And the same goes for my Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon. It is the only eyeliner I own. Now I do have a liquid liner, my Kat Von D tattoo trooper liner, whatever. Um, but this is the only pencil eyeliner I own. It is my favorite. I have it on today. I have it on every day that I wear makeup. And so I pick them up. I stock up on them when, uh, when I have a discount. Alrighty. And the last product that I haven't cracked into yet because I'm trying to be a good girl with my mascaras is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. Um, I am nearly out of the mascara that I have open, which is my Buxom Lash. And then I'll move on to this one. All right. Why don't we move on to something not quite so positive? And that is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner Set. Now I did pick up both the Kat Von D lip sets this year. I picked up the little mini liquid lipsticks. We'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, but I also picked up the lip liner set because I only own two lip liners and I wanted something dark. Both the ones I have are like nude pinks. And so I wanted to kind of expand my lip liner collection. This formula has been really difficult for me to work with. I've never tried it before. Swatching it on the back of your hand, it's like, oh wow, those things don't move. You can like scratch at it and it won't go away. But I find it too creamy on the lips. I'm, I guess I'm just used to like a stiffer lip pencil. I have also found that it kind of picks up on itself. If I need to go over an area, um, it won't glide over well. Products that I put on top kind of make it go patchy. I am used like with my, um, my Charlotte Tilbury lip sheet, like I, I put it on and then I kind of blot it out so it's not with my nudes. I don't want it to be so crisp. I want my dark ones to be crisp. I want my nudes to look a little bit more natural. Um, like it's my real lip line. It's just a little bit more full. And with these, I can't do that. If I go over it with my ring finger, it just like picks up and goes patchy. So I don't know, I can't fully recommend them right now. If you've tried them, used them, loved them, hated them, whatever, let me know your thoughts. Maybe you have a better way of making them work because I'm, I am kind of struggling. Now the liquid lip set is a totally different story. I love these. 
In fact, I think I've got to say it. I think these are my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. They are literally the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have ever tried. And I'm not someone who can put up with dry lips. And so if I love these, I think that says a lot. Also, I think the color selection is just gorgeous, especially for fall, winter, maybe not so like spring, summery. Um, there, are, there is a couple of nudes in there, but just beautiful, deep fall vampy colors. I have not ventured to try Witches yet, which is the black, um, but I'd really, really like to. Let's move on to something that I'm still kind of on the fence about, and that is the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. Now I am technically still testing it out. I plan, I guess, to do like a palette of the week video on it. I've been using it well over a week, um, but I kind of went on vacation for Thanksgiving, so I'm picking it back up, getting back into it. So definitely let me know if you're still interested in a palette of the week review and demo. There are some shades that you swatch and you use and it's like, oh yeah, this is that creamy metallic ColourPop formula. And there's other shades that are like sticky and chunky flaky and patchy and just don't have the pigment that I'm used to. And so it's it's kind of upsetting. Uh, it's not like ColourPop's been doing these little palettes for a long time. Um, you know, I figured they could keep the quality going for a little bit longer before petering out, but it seems like they just launched a couple of like really, really good ones right off the bat to get us hooked and then it's just not as good as it was. All right, why don't we talk about the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. Now, I swatched this in store and was really impressed by the texture of how it felt on the back of my hand. And so I knew once the sale rolled around, I wanted to pick it up. Funny enough, I've actually heard a lot of people say they don't like it. Like, I've had people DM me, email me, etc. and say, like, they hated it. Um, I like it so far. I mean, you know, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks. I guess I can still keep you updated, but I have zero complaints. I have had it pill maybe a little bit, but I have a lot of primers pill on me, and this one is not bad at all. I just kind of smooth it out and it's good to go. I love how it makes my skin feel like that just soft, powdery finish. Um, it reminds me of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which I adored, and not only is it more expensive than this, but that primer breaks me out because it has mineral sunscreen in it, and so I was heartbroken that I couldn't use it anymore and I'm so glad I kind of found a dupe for it, a replacement. Let's talk about the other two little primers that I picked up. I picked up a mini size of the Milk Makeup Blur Stick and a mini of the Forsali Unicorn Essence. So let's talk about the blur stick first. I, I don't I don't really get this product. In fact, I don't really get either of the products. So I am really glad that I only bought minis. So I have heard such good things about the blur stick, about how it just practically erases pores. And uh, I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing those results. So I don't know if I really, really build it up, I do start to see a little bit of an effect. I don't know if it's not agreeing with my moisturizer. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fine. I could use it as a quick primer, you know, in the morning, just like slap it on and go. It would give me enough to have like a nice base to build my makeup off of. But as far as like really doing what it promises and what I've seen like it advertised as, it's just like making you have a doll-like complexion. I don't see it. I put it on like this half over here of my enlarged pores. This one, I don't put anything. They just don't look different. And I do feel similarly with the Forsali Unicorn Essence. Um, I kind of knew going in that this product is probably not for me. I have oily skin. This is probably like a dry skin kind of person's um, product, but I find it not quite agreeing with my foundations. Uh, what I have, I did test it out today to try to refresh my memory. Um, and then I put the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation on top of it, which I adore and I feel like is one of the most natural looking foundations that I own. And it makes it look really heavy. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's just too oily, if it kind of emphasizes my pores. I don't know if it just doesn't agree with that foundation. I don't know, I've just really been struggling with it though. All right, let's move on to some skincare because I did pick up quite a few things at the sale. Um, this one, the Sunday Riley Space Race Kit was something I was just, I, I mentioned it in like a wish list video. I really wanted to pick it up. And I gotta say so far, I am so glad that I have. So the Space Race Kit came with the UFO oil, which you can see I've been I've been after it. I've been using a good bit of it. Um, the Saturn Mask, Sulfur Treatment Mask, again, you can see I've 
it didn't have much in it. That was unfortunate. This probably only has like three or four masks in it, um, but I do really like it. And then the Martian Mattifying Gel Toner. And I, I did try out a sample of this before, and it wasn't that I didn't like it. I just didn't really get it. I didn't understand its purpose. Um, but so far, I am liking it. It is, you know, kind of refreshing. I could do without it, though. Like, this would not be a product that I'm going to spend, like, the full retail Sunday Riley price on. But I do like a lot of her products. The UFO oil so far... Once I use this up, unless anything changes, I will probably go out and buy a full size. I feel like my skin is looking really, really good with it. And before I forget, I actually did pick up a 100 point perk from Sunday Riley. It's the CEO Moisturizer. And I really, really enjoyed this. I've tried their Tidal Moisturizer, Water Gel Moisturizer, something like that. And I liked it, but I wasn't like so impressed with it that I was willing to pay the big price tag for it. This one I really like. The smell of it is just so like orange and citrusy in the morning. It like wakes you up. Um, it just moisturizes my skin so well and uh, didn't break me out. I got like a full week's worth of use out of it and my skin was looking amazing. So this, this is definitely something I would like to pick up here soon. And then the other skincare set that I got was from Ula Henriksen. I think it was like the Nurture Yourself Gentle Hydration Set or something like that. Um, it came with a oil-based cleanser or cream cleanser. It's the Wonder Feel Double Cleanser. So I have been using this to remove my makeup, eye makeup, and then I go in with like a face wash and I really enjoy it. It gets makeup off wonderfully. And it also came with the High G Hydra Clay Mask. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, I anticipated a clay mask to be, you know, what we're used to from clay masks, like kind of thick and heavy and dries, like solid. Not like that at all. Uh, I really do enjoy it. I think I can actually see benefits after I use it, which is rare with masks for me. And it also came with a moisturizer, the Nurture Me Moisturizing Cream, um, which actually smells a lot like the Sunday Riley CEO cream too. Like it has that same orange sherbet kind of smell to it. Um, I have used this a couple of times, liked it, but I haven't been able to really dig into it yet because I was using other products. I would really like to try out more from the brand because everything I've tried I enjoy and it's, it is high in skincare. It's not drugstore prices, but it's actually not that bad. It's not Sunday Riley. All right, we're getting down to the bottom of the pile. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean. I actually picked this up at the friends and family sale and it's highly recommended. I've seen a ton of people rave about it. I like Pharmacy as a brand and it is like an oil-based cleanser. So as you can see, I've been digging into it. It comes with a little spatula. Unfortunately, this breaks me out. Pretty sure it breaks me out. I don't know, started using it, broke out horribly, quit using it, breakout goes away. So uh, now I only use it on my eyes. I just use a tiny little bit, rub it into my eye makeup and rinse it off. And uh, so I am gonna keep it, I am gonna use it up and it works wonderfully for that. I've just found that I can't use it all over my face. There's just something in it that doesn't agree with me. All right, and finally, I just have a couple of PR products I wanted to mention that I just hauled at the same time as my VIB sale haul because I got it all at the same time, so why not? Um, I have some stuff from Antonym and some stuff from Saturday Skin. So I got two items from Saturday Skin. This is a new brand to Sephora. I got the Daily Dew Hydrating Mist. I've been using it as like a priming mist or light like finishing spray and then the wide awake brightening eye cream they do have some other they have like a moisturizer and an essence i'd like to try anyways i've been using the eye cream a lot every single day since the day i got it because i needed eye cream really really enjoy it it does kind of have a little bit of a silicone feel to it um so it looks and feels nice on the skin um, but it is not the most deeply moisturizing product I've ever used, but I do like it and I'm going to use every last drop of it. Um, and it doesn't irritate my sensitive under eye area either. I can't tell you how many eye creams I've tried and it'll just like set my under eye on fire. It's like, what, what the hell are you putting in this thing? Anyway, the Daily Dew I've used a little bit, haven't, you know, really, really dug into it, but I mean, it's nice, basic skin mist. All right, now let's finish up with the Antonym products that I was sent. Now, I just filmed like a five first impressions video because I really hadn't had time to dig into these. They've just kind of been sitting here for two weeks. Um, so I don't know what's gonna go live first, but if this is live, then I will link it because I go into more detail there. So I haven't had as much time to dig into these products, but I will say, 
Skin Esteem Foundation. This is the shade Beige Medium Light. Not a good shade match for me. It was sent. I didn't get to pick it out. Although this is the shade that I thought would match me, but it is much more yellow than I anticipated. Anyway, I struggled so incredibly bad to get this to apply to my skin. You know, it's not like a foundation that was like, oh, broke down throughout the day, blah, blah, blah. I'm too oily for it. That I'm used to. But to not even get it to stick to my skin, I, I've never experienced that before. It would just like pill up, patch up, and fall off and disappear. Um, so I'm gonna have to experiment with some other primers, moisturizers, hell if I know, in all honesty. I, like I said, I've never had that happen to me before. Uh, definitely brush, beauty blender, it would just like disappear into it and I would dab nothing. Weirdest thing ever. And so I'm not, I'm a little bit confused by this product in all honesty, but I'm just gonna have to test it out some more to see if I can get it to work. I also tested out this mascara in that video and it is gorgeous. It is a spiky plastic bristle brush, which in my opinion is kind of hard to find in the more green natural beauty brands. What I've seen is typically a, a natural bristled brush, um, but you know I love the spiky plastic ones and I loved this. Now I, I've only used it once, literally one time. I thought it was beautiful. It's very wet formula. I'm hoping it'll dry out a little bit more, um, but so far very, very impressed. They also sent me a baked powder foundation in the shade Light. I love this packaging, really do. I think it's just gorgeous. All of their stuff is bamboo, by the way, too, trying to be eco-friendly. So yeah, I have tested out the baked foundation a couple of times. Didn't go so well on top of the liquid foundation, but that's because the base underneath was not ideal. Um, I've used it by itself you know, just as a powder foundation and I thought it gave some really great coverage. Shade Light is a little bit more neutral. I'm definitely more pink, so I, I could stand for it to be a little bit more pink, but it is workable. Um, but so far impressed and glad I have a powder foundation that I can actually use because so many of them, like all the bare mineral stuff, it has mineral sunscreens or mineral ingredients in it that break me out, unfortunately. They also sent me one of their baked blushes in Rose. So gorgeous, so, so incredibly gorgeous. Y'all know though, I love just that natural pink rose shade. That's what I'm attracted to. Not peachy pinks, I don't know. This is, this is just it for me. So it is right up my alley. And they sent me their eyeshadow quad in Noisette. They only have like three or four eyeshadow quads. Um, but yeah, the shadows are magnetic. So if you have other ones, you can switch them in and out or again, put them in a magnetic palette. But I traveled with this for my Thanksgiving trip and I just think it's so travel friendly, like so tight and compact. It feels really protected to me and it's just like a great neutral combination. Although the formula is something I'm not quite used to. It's a a lot harder shadow. Uh, I typically prefer, y'all probably know, I love my ColourPop and Anastasia shades that tend to be really soft and powdery. These are not soft and powdery at all. They are a denser, stiffer formula. And so it took me a little bit of getting used to, but overall I do really like it. I love this shade right here. It is called P1 Brown, <laughs> that's all. But it is gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of Antique Bronze from ABH. It is just, maybe not quite as red, um, but it is beautiful all just all over the lid almost like a one shadow look and then that like on the inner corner beautiful all right y'all that's it that was so much stuff to get through but I hope I got some good review mini reviews out there I know it's not the most in-depth or whatever but I did want to follow up and not just like haul stuff and what happened to it anyways I've got a lot of errands to go do today I am like the medicine girl today. I got to go pick up my little brother's prescription from his doctor's office, like downtown Fort Worth. Um, I got to go pick up a prescription for me and for sugar. I need to run by the vet and get her like heartworm medication, um, preventative medication. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching though. If you've tried any of these massive amount of things, uh, let me know your thoughts on them. That way we can all share the reviews, share the thoughts. If anyone's looking, they can see the comments and get some good info. So I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget. It is perfectly okay just be small town famous. I love y'all. Bye.